so for step 24, the rear dampers. Well, we need to grab these pieces here. We've got the piston rods. We've got these pieces here, X10 for the oil. Um, and I've pulled together all the pieces that we actually need for this step. And you can see we've got the E-ring, um, the Eclipse, and then we've got the four O-rings, which come in the uh, bag D, as you can see there. So I'll set this up and let's put these together. So first off, let's get these piston rods put together. So you can see that we're going to need to have an E-clip on the bottom here. If I can get that on there. There we go. So I've got it more or less in place. I'll let it rest on my finger while I grab the pliers and then we'll just pull. So there is one of them in place. Now we need to grab our X10 piece, which has the three holes in it. There are options, because you can see here, here's one I haven't cut out at all, and you've got a eight, nine, and 10, and one's a one hole, two hole, and three. This one they're saying use the three. So we'll put that on top of that, and then we'll grab another E-clip, and we'll put that down on there and grab our pliers and pop into place there we go so there is one of our pistons finished so i'm going to do the same thing with the other one might as well get them both done at the same time so again we're going to fit that on i'm just going to have it rest against my finger grab the pliers Pop it in place. There we go. And then we'll grab the other X10 piece. Doesn't matter which way it goes. Sit it on top. Grab the next E-clip. And we can now grab the pliers. And Get it just right. There we go. So there we go. There are the two pistons built and ready to go. So now what we've got to do is grab the cylinder. So this is the Y3 piece. Um, I might even just do a little touch of a trim on that one more than I did. I see that there's a little bit of roughness on there. So the flat ended. Yeah, there we go. So we need to grease up the O-rings. Well, the kit comes with this big bottle, but I have some smaller bottles that came in another kit, so I'm gonna use up what I've got in these. So I've got a couple of them actually. So we're gonna use what's left in this one, which we can use to um, oil them up because it says you need to apply oil to these. So just swish it around, that's nice and oiled. We're gonna pop one into the top right there. Grab another one, do the same thing. My hands are pretty oily now, but I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. Just make sure they're nice and oiled up. Messy job, but that's okay. Use some paper towel clean off my hands a bit and then we're going to take the Y1 piece the cap and we're going to screw this onto the bottom come on made my hands rather slick here so screw that right down and you can see that that's now nice and tight and then what will happen is we can then um, screw or put in the, the piston rod. But I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other one. And as this one was pretty much empty, we're going to open the other small bottle I've got. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to oil this up. Make sure that the rings are 
nicely lubed. And we'll stick one in there. Grab the other one. Move it around, make sure it's nice and oiled is. Stick that one down there. And again, I'll just clean off my fingers. And now we'll grab the Y1 piece and let's screw this in place. Okay, so both of those now are ready for the next part. So if we were to grab the one of the pistons that we did, you can see that they want you to oil it up, which we'll do. So we can oil up by just dribbling it down. There we go. And now we're going to slide it through. Make sure it goes through to the other end. You can pull that out. And then we're gonna grab this X11 piece, slide that on first. Then we have the X1, which now has to be screwed onto the piston rod. Now, this might be, yeah, these ones aren't gonna go on as easy, which is okay, because this is where having these shock pliers is a fantastic thing, because I've got something nice and firm to grab and we can take our piece and be able to put some pressure onto this. Make sure that it's going on relatively level. Yep, and now it's nicely spinning on. So you can pretty much go to the end. It won't turn anymore. So we know that that one is done. And it, it moves up and down in this cylinder nice and smooth. So that's one of them complete. So same idea, we're gonna grab the other piston rod. We're going to oil it up. Basically just let it dribble through. And we'll take this, find the hole down at the bottom, push it through. Pull it out, there we go. Then we have this piece, the X11's gotta go on top of there first. And then I'm gonna grab the shock pliers again. Hold that nice and firm. And we're gonna grab this piece here and turn it. Now that one's going on a little easier. Yep. And we'll just spin this on until we can't anymore. There we go. And there is the other one. So there we go. There are the rear dampers. So those are finished. So we're gonna actually just move on to step 25 and do this as all one step because this one uses the same uh, piston rod as well. And there are there's a couple of slight changes with this one, but we might as well do this now rather than separate it as a separate step. So for 25, the front damper, this part is very similar. We need to grab our piston rod. We've got our E-clip that we need to put on. So we'll start that, get that into position. There we go. I'm gonna use my finger to hold it in place. Grab our pliers. There we go. That's popped on and correctly in the right spot. Then we're gonna grab our X10 piece, which is the same one, so it's got the three holes. Um, and we're gonna grab our E-clip again. There we go. And grab our pliers and pop into place. So there we go, there is our piston complete. So that now, we're gonna do again, the exact same thing. We've got to oil up the O-rings. So we'll do that, put that one there. And 
it's all lubed up. We'll stick one in there, grab another one. Squeeze it around and put the other one in there. Now I'm just gonna clean off my hands with the paper towel and then we're gonna grab our Y1 piece again and make sure that it fits onto there nicely, yes. Spin it all the way on, make sure it's a nice, tight, firm fit. There we go. And so that is ready to go. Now notice we have a spare. Well, it's, that's because this is going to be a little different in terms of how you put it together. So, just as before, we need to oil this up. But we are going to grab this X3 piece, which is a little bigger. It's going into the cylinder first before we put this through. So just make sure that goes on first. Then it'll slide through. And we now have an O-ring that has to go on this on the outside. Just like that. And then, once again, I'm going to grab our handy-dandy shock pliers, grip a nice firm feel, grab our X1 piece, and oh, well, that one's going on actually pretty good. So, we'll spin that on. We're at the end, so I'm not going to over-tighten. That's all we can do. And there we go. There is our front shock in place. So you can see that there is a slight bit of a difference to it. Because of that plastic piece on the inside, the rear ones, which are on my left, the piston is a quite long, a lot longer than what is on the front because the, the distance is cut down by the plastic piece being on the inside. So we'll see how this all fits together um, once we add, you know, put it on the car. But that means step 25 is complete. So we can now move on to step 26, and now we're going to add the oil. Mm -hmm. 